Thanks for joining us from the Ohio Agnet. Voice you know with the news you trust. Studio sponsored by Grain Equipment Company, where innovation meets execution. I'm Dale Menyo. Joining me, Dale Everman at Farm Science Review. And Dale, nice to have you with us. It's day number one here at the Farm Science Review. What are people coming to see at your booth? Well, we've got a little bit of everything for every farmer out there, whether you're grain, livestock, we've got a little bit of everything. Uh, new this year, we're, we're want people to come out and take a look at is the uh, Artex Manufacturing Silage Boxes. Uh, we got a high dump for uh, wet situations where you want to get it into a semi and haul it down the road. And then we've also got a uh, large cubic foot uh, rear dump that can be hauled with a tractor and then dumped on the pad for them guys to push on a pile. Lots of other equipment types here, but you also are pretty still still pretty big in uh, helping design and build livestock facilities, and uh, that's got to be taking a lot of time. None of those projects are easy. No, it's uh, you cut your teeth on some of the stuff, but uh, it's always interesting to see what customers have in their head that they want to want built. Uh, we're in the middle of building a couple of uh, cage-free chicken barns at the moment. Uh, getting ready to start a uh, large dairy down in uh, southeast Indiana. And uh, we've got quite a few beef projects going on. So uh, it's a good time of the year. We're staying busy and uh, always enjoy working with the farmers. So if you've got an idea what you're thinking about next year or two or three years down the road, stop and see the folks at Holman. They can help you understand the equipment, talk about designs, or maybe, you, again, you've got that design in your head and they want to know equipment, what will go with it, and you can help them all across the board in those categories. Yeah, they usually like to see some drawings from past projects just to get ideas on uh, what they can and can't do and what works and doesn't work. So uh, it's always nice to, to get their thoughts and what they want put it on a piece of paper and get them a number. Between feeding, ventilation, and manure handling, we've got something to, uh, whether it's dry or wet, we've got something for everybody out there. And new, you can obviously do, but what about somebody who's had something 15 years or so and says, hey, can we retrofit some of this to use some of today's computer technology and so on, on, on feeding? How would you help them? Between AP, Cumberland, and VES, which, you know, there are feed and ventilation companies, a lot of these controllers are becoming more uh, mobile acceptable, so that way you can keep an eye on fan motors, feed time run on their flex systems, anything to help them not have to make 100 trips out to the, to the farm if they don't have to. They can keep track of most of their stuff on their phones. Dale Everman, my guest. You can find him here at the Farm Science Review or online at holmaninc.com. Thanks, Dale. Thank you. Today's weather brought to you by Seed Consultants. Simply better performance online at seedconsultants.com. Here's the forecast. No change in your forecast here as we move through the afternoon. And let's uh, take a quick look at that Ohio forecast update. More sunshine, more warmth, more dry air dominating through the end of the week. But we do have a little bit of a change as we go through the end of the weekend and into early next week. Looks like a weather system that comes out of the Central Plains and across the Missouri Valley may have a little bit stronger of an eastward surge. And if that can hold, we see rain coming across southern Illinois, Indiana, and yes, into Ohio. So keep an eye out for pop-up showers and thunderstorms from late Sunday through Monday and into early Tuesday. Hopefully that holds as we get closer to the event. I'm meteorologist Ryan Martin. And thanks, Ryan. Back with markets after this. In any year, your best harvest is only a few upgrades away. Seed Consultants exclusively serves the Eastern Corn Belt, combining our deep knowledge of local conditions with high-performing products fit for your acres. Most importantly, our customized services put our products and your business in a position to succeed. We help you start with better to grow your best. Visit SeedConsultants.com to learn why our products and services are simply better. Navigating mental health insurance benefits can be overwhelming, but you don't have to do it alone. The Mental Health Insurance Assistance Office is here to guide you. Our expert team will help you connect with your health insurance plan to understand available behavioral health benefits. Say goodbye to frustration and hello to control over your mental well-being. Call 855-438-6442 today. Time now for the midday market analysis provided by Leist Mercantile and sponsored by Brandt, helping growers take control for over 70 years. I'm Ryan Metzger with Lice Mercantile providing your Tuesday crop rating recap. We got national corn good to excellence improving last week by 1% to get us to 65% good to excellence. And we're tracking at 9% harvested, which is a tad bit higher than the 8% we were this uh, time last year on corn. On the national soybean good to excellence, we did slip 1% down to 64% good to excellence. And we are now seeing soybean harvest listed at 6% versus the 4% we were at this time last year. 
Spring wheat harvest is chugging along at 92%, and winter wheat planting is getting a good start at 14% planted. Please visit our website at LiceBurgantile.com to learn more about our grain marketing program and crop insurance services. And thanks, Ryan. Today's market is brought to you by Seed Consultants. Simply better performance online at SeedConsultants.com. December corn, 409 and a half, down penny and a quarter. March down a penny and a half at 427 and three quarters. November beans up three at ten dollars seven and a half cents. January 1026, make it 1026 and a half. Up three. We'll take every chance we get to give you a higher number. On the wheat, let's go to July. New crop down three and a half at six ten and a quarter cent. October cattle, 178.37, up a dollar fifteen. October lean hogs, 81.70, up a dollar seventy-seven. October feeder cattle $240.57 up $1.57. This is the Ohio Agnet.